Imagine an ice giant so massive that it could single-handedly reshape the world as we know it. Meet Thwaites Glacier, also known as the Doomsday Glacier, covering an area of roughly 74,000 square miles. Yes, that's about the size of Florida. This colossal chunk of ice dominates West Antarctica. At its mouth, it stretches a staggering 75 miles wide, nearly three times the width of the narrowest point of the English Channel. But Thwaites isn't just big, it's dangerously important. This glacier holds enough water to raise global sea levels by over two feet. That's already a nightmare scenario for coastal cities, but here's the kicker. Thwaites acts like a cork in a wine bottle, keeping the vast Antarctic ice sheet in check. If it collapses, it could set off a chain reaction, ultimately contributing to a sea level rise of up to 10 feet. Think about what that means. Places like Miami, London, and entire nations in the Pacific could face catastrophic flooding. In this video, we're diving deep into the story of Thwaites Glacier, how it's changing, what scientists are doing to keep track of it, and what its collapse could mean for the world. We'll explore the urgent race to understand this icy giant before it's too late, and what, if anything, we can do to slow down the ticking clock. So buckle up, because this isn't just a story about Antarctica. It's a story about all of us. Let's unpack the chilling truth about the Doomsday Glacier. Thwaites Glacier is one of the most closely monitored glaciers on Earth, and not without reason. This massive ice giant, located in the heart of West Antarctica, has earned the chilling nickname the Doomsday Glacier. And that name isn't just for dramatic effect. Thwaites isn't just another frozen expanse in the Antarctic wilderness. It's a critical piece of the global climate puzzle and a ticking time bomb that could drastically reshape coastlines worldwide. Scientists have been ringing alarm bells about Thwaites for years, as it continues to show alarming signs of rapid change. Warmer ocean currents are melting the glacier from below, eating away at its floating ice shelf and weakening the structure that holds everything in place. The loss of this crucial ice shelf could act as a trigger, allowing the land-based ice behind it to flow freely into the ocean. In essence, Thwaites isn't just a glacier. It's a massive, interconnected system. Its stability, or lack thereof, has profound implications for millions of people living in coastal regions. From Miami to Mumbai, Cities around the world could face devastating consequences if Thwaites reaches its tipping point. The question isn't whether Thwaites will change, it's how quickly and how much we can do to prepare for what's coming. Thwaites is what's called a marine-based glacier. That means it sits on land that's below sea level, with part of its ice shelf floating in the ocean. Now, that floating ice shelf plays a crucial role. It acts like a gatekeeper holding back the massive amount of land-based ice behind it. Here's where it gets tricky. Warmer ocean waters, particularly from the Amundsen Sea, have found their way underneath the floating ice shelf. These warmer waters are melting the ice from below, weakening the entire structure like termites, eating away at the foundation of a house. Once that ice shelf collapses, and scientists warn it's not a matter of if but when, the land-based ice behind it will have nothing holding it back. And when that happens, it'll flow into the ocean at an accelerated rate. The numbers are staggering. Scientists have found that ice loss from Thwaites has more than doubled compared to just a few decades ago. That's not just a little melting, it's a full-scale retreat. As the glacier shrinks, it could release millions of cubic meters of ice into the ocean. To put it into perspective, Thwaites alone has enough ice to raise global sea levels by over two feet. But it doesn't stop there. Remember, Thwaites is the cork in a much larger bottle. If it goes, the surrounding glaciers in West Antarctica could destabilize too. This chain reaction could lead to an ice sheet collapse a scenario where sea levels rise by as much as 10 feet. 
Imagine what that would mean for cities like Miami, New York, or Bangkok, not to mention entire island nations. Scientists are racing to understand its every move, but how do you study something so massive and so remote? Thwaites lies in one of the most inhospitable places on Earth, West Antarctica. Yet, that hasn't stopped an international team of researchers from diving headfirst into some of the most cutting-edge science projects out there. Enter the Thwaites Glacier Collaboration, a joint effort between US and UK scientists. They're throwing everything at this problem. Ice-penetrating radar, satellites, and even underwater robots. These high-tech tools dive beneath the ice shelf, mapping out the hidden world below where warm ocean currents are wreaking havoc. So, what are they finding? Data collected from Thwaites shows it's melting faster than ever, with its retreat accelerating. This melting isn't just a standalone problem, it's triggering a feedback loop. As Thwaites collapses, neighboring glaciers lose their stability, setting off a domino effect that could raise sea levels dramatically. Is there any good news about the Doomsday Glacier? Surprisingly, yes. There's a glimmer of hope when it comes to the Thwaites Glacier. Despite its ominous nickname and the very real threats it poses, this massive chunk of ice has some natural defenses working in its favor. Here's the deal. Thwaites sits in a region where there's a fascinating mix of warm, salty water, deep below and cooler fresher water closer to the glacier's base. This sharp difference in temperature and salinity creates a kind of natural barrier. The cooler water stays right next to the glacier, acting like a protective shield against the warmer currents trying to melt it from underneath. It's not a permanent solution, but it's buying us valuable time. Now here's where human ingenuity comes into play. Scientists are brainstorming bold and innovative ways to slow down or even stop the melting. Some ideas include injecting cold water beneath the glacier to counteract the warm currents, building underwater barriers to block those destructive warm waters from reaching the ice, artificial snowmaking to replace the ice being lost, yes, making snow on a massive scale. Sure, these ideas sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, and they come with serious challenges. But as sea level rise becomes an ever greater threat, these creative solutions are becoming more necessary and more possible. The future of Thwaites Glacier is uncertain, but between its natural defenses and the cutting edge research being done, there's still hope. It's a race against time, but with determination and innovation, humanity might just manage to protect this icy giant and the coastal communities that depend on it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more.